I have a problem. Yes, snakes may be a problem, but that's not it. Yes, if a boat could float, that would be a problem, but that's not it. Yes, a big dent could be a problem, but in this case, that was someone else's $3,000 problem, but that's not it. My garage, much like everyone else's, has a visibility problem. I can't see how close I am to things in front of the car. And in this video, I'll show you how I solved it with my on-demand reversing camera. You can see here in front of the car, I only have a few centimetres of gap. So parking sensors, I hear you say. Yes, my car has those and you can see it shows me in centimetres how close I am to things in front of the car, but it stops at 30 centimetres. And that just won't cut it. But what I do have is a reversing camera that I can turn on on demand. So I had an idea. What if I could have a mark in the view of the reversing camera that would allow me to determine how close I was to things in front of the car? And by the end of the video, you'll know what I mean by that. So I laid out some paint swatches to see where I could lay some marks. My first attempt was a 3D printed swatch on my Bambi Labs A1 printer that is multicolour. The three colours butted up against each other but separated much too easy. And like the paint swatches, didn't show up as clearly on camera even in the actual photo here. So I set about designing a better model that would not separate and gave more contrast. This white background would give good contrast against any colour and a full base layer of white would keep it all together. The rounded corners would make it easier to glue to the ground. The A1 printer cuts the filament on each colour change, so it was good to see the second layer here starting off with white, so no waste cutting the filament yet. You can see here the A1 printer can print fast even for a bed slinger. And now we have a second layer with some space for colour. The extruder slides along to the end and pushes against the arm and a blade in the extruder cuts the filament. The printer has a multicolour AMS unit that can hold four colours. They each get fed into the extruder via this 4 to 1 hole arrangement. Now the printer extrudes the white filament and replaces it with the next colour. Wow, that was fast. We can see the filament being shot out of the poop chute. The printer prints out a purge tower to prime the nozzle before moving over to the print to give a clearer print overall. Then repeats this for each colour change. I designed a gap between the colours to give better contrast. A third print layer gives deeper colours and a final thickness of 0.6mm, so it's still quite a thin part. Doesn't that look great? So now over to fitting my new parking sensor sign. Let's give the concrete a little wash with alcohol to get rid of any dirt, and that way I don't need to wait for it to dry. We'll mix up some epoxy and spread it evenly over the back of the sign. And you can see here that the previous sign I had on the concrete in red pen was fading. I could no longer see that at night. Using the camera view of the swatches from earlier, I can tell where I need to place the sign. Flip it over and stick it down. Then cover it with something heavy so the sides stick down well. Now that the glue is dry, let's see it in action. My car allows me to turn on the reversing camera on demand, even when driving forward. As I drive forward towards the rear of the garage, the objects in front of the rear door are close to the parking sensors, so the car tells me to stop when the range is 30 centimetres but the car is still under the front garage door due to the objects in front of the rear garage door. As I drive forward, I can see the green sign, so slow down, then the amber and creep slowly and stop on red. And now I can safely get close to things in front of the car. Cheerio.